This year's Sydney Teaching Colloquium brought together university staff, students and experts for some compelling discussions about cultural competence. Living with cultural difference is something we perfect not through theory but through practice. But it is important that we also give thought to what it means and to support scholarship and research about how we can improve. For this reason, cultural competence is indeed everyone's business. By reflecting on the history of cultural competence and on their own cultural identities, participants explored what cultural competence meant at individual and societal levels. I have a right to be a proud, confident Gungaloo man, but I can do it only in a way that doesn't stop Juanita from being a proud, confident Wiradjuri woman or other people in this audience being proud, confident cultural identities in their own right. The colloquium explored ways to embed cultural competence in pedagogy and curriculum and highlighted the ongoing process of learning and co-generating knowledge. Now the circles, the symbols and are used within our culture to illustrate the holistic nature of, of, of our ways of being and doing, which are sometimes quite different to a linear Western dominant model. The spiral in this model starts with the first circle and spirals out through the layers and it indicates that the system is not closed or static highlighting that this is an ongoing process and it's a process required to comprehend and then co-generate knowledge. The student ambassadors prompted everyone to think about teaching for cultural competence when they presented their experiences in a different way. If you've ever been concerned that your name will give away your ethnicity and gender and therefore disadvantage you on assessments, take one step back. When we put our names on our assignments, do we need to worry about possible internal biases that our marker might have? Would my assignment be considered lesser because it was written by a woman or because it was written by an Asian? And we decided to write curricula related questions in regards to this activity, uh, which really throughout the presentation showed the divide between the students inside the university community. With lively debate, insights and challenges, the colloquium sparked some creative ideas with lots of concepts and issues to digest. I know we're eating into your time for food, but I'm hoping we're leaving you with food for thought. <laughs> the panel of industry and alumni experts brought home the importance of cultural competence in the workplace and offered some wise advice. Increasingly our clients, who are more culturally diverse than they used to be, they're no longer all blokey blokes, uh, suggesting to us that we would need to have teams servicing their needs who reflect the composition of their teams and indeed the broader community. Staff and students were encouraged to engage by contributing their ideas, joining the debate and raising some challenges. What was really powerful from the student exercise was the stories. Um, I, I think um, the way you learn about other people is you hear their story. And when you hear other people's story, you begin to think about yourselves and you, and you think about your own attitudes, your own opinions and your own underlying assumptions. Participants also reflected on some of the key learnings and considered ways to implement them into their teaching and learning. As a faculty member, I think it's really important to reflect on the practices that we are engaged in every day. And I think the colloquium has been a good opportunity to reflect uh, and to think harder about what we're doing so that we can be more culturally competent. The colloquium that we've had today has been absolutely essential and one of the reasons why it's essential is that it's actually allowed the, a, a forum to create a space to talk about these issues but I'm excited because I'm actually hearing that people are on board with cultural competence and they're actively engaged in doing something. Students are keen to continue to work in partnership with staff to improve the way students develop cultural competence at the university. Prior to this event, um, I'm not sure about others, but I didn't know there was so much happening around cultural competence. And coming to the events was a very like eye-opening experience where I saw that academics actually do care about topics like this and we are actually doing something about it.